Hi, welcome to this video. Uh, the topic is how to install Arch Linux D. Well, Arch Linux D is a base installation. It's a base ISO, but it has a graphical installer. So first you go to articlinux.info, download the ISO, burn it on USB or put it in VirtualBox like we do here. And then you get your pop-up and this is the Calamares installer. And then you start setting everything up. So this language, you can choose lots of languages in here and um, it's, it will change It will change your, your setting here. So you can follow in your own language and better set it back to English. Where is English somewhere? British English, American English. I think it was that. So a lot of possibilities. You can always have a look at the version of the Calamares installer and then we're off. Normally the GOIP uh, situation or, or pin pointing is correct unless the, the server it points to is broken. So if it's broken, so just put your button where it's supposed to be. That's the time zone and that's okay. You can also select in here. I like to make it a game and click. <laughs> so you can change also the system language if you don't want uh, to change something in here. You can change these languages back to your own and the same goes for the, the dates and the numbers. Uh, locale, change those. And afterwards it's to the most important thing and that's for me anyway a Belgian keyboard because I need to have my Azerti. That said, you have now a new version, new stuff. Well, first of all, I did already an installation. That's why it says install alongside. So I can say just uh, cut it in two, for instance, an Arch Linux B and an Arch Linux D. And they have, they're separate and they can learn from the other, from, from take a look at Arch Linux B, how everything is set up and then learn to set it up in Arch Linux D, for instance, on one hard disk or SSD. You can actually say replace a partition, say completely replace, or, and this is the most important thing, we have now the option to use swap, no swap, that's this one, swap no hibernate, a little bit smaller. This machine thinks it has eight gigabytes, so eight, eight gigs of RAM, and it says let's give a little bit of RAM, three, which means it's enough, but you can't hibernate with it. If you want to go hibernating, you need to have more swap, more swap than your memory, because it basically it's going to write everything from your memory on the swap. So that's an option that's new. And since I have 16 gigabyte and this is just a virtual box, I'm going to use no swap at all. So I have a smaller footprint here. So I could have a smaller hard disk if I wanted. And then you go for a yeah, minimal partition as well, of course, but basically this is my setup, erase, erase disk and then no swap would be my way to go. That's personal. Then you start typing your name, the computer name, the password. You decide whether you want to log in automatically without asking for the password. But remember, this is Arcalix D. There is nothing to log into, right? So that's that this really doesn't matter. And this does matter. You want to use the same password for the administrator account or the root account. I'll always do so. There are no mistakes. And then next install and we're off. So Arcalix D is now installing. Um, I should uh, show you maybe the website where everything is going to happen. So don't forget, there are lots of websites opening up a browser on the other page here. It's taking like forever. I need to log out here. And then finally, I can show you the Arcolinx D website. So we have different sites. You, you can have a look for them, arcolinuxinfo.com and B and ISO. Basically, when you're working on Arcolinux D, you're working in phases and learning phases. And um, if you want to learn about XFC, then everything is in here. XFC articles, lots of uh, files. But there's also another possibility. 
that you say I want to have um, I want to have a look at all the these any disk files. So there are often questions that I say, well, this applies to any desktop. This is just Linux, right? So then it's in the category any desktop. Lots of things are in there. There's of course a search the categories and then tags and all that. So then you can use it to find out information. So you see a lot of things. Setting up Firefox in Vivaldi, I mean, that's for any desktop, but it's information, it's knowledge. So that's Article Linux D, and it's it's um, split over uh, into uh, the desktops, three here, and phase three, well, that should be nine over here, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we have phase uh, four, phase four is Article Linux B, it's going to go straight to that uh, site. And phase five is actually going to Arch Linux installation. So that's what we aim or we can do is if you want to learn is go to phase five and say, OK, I have um, learned Arch Linux, the big ISO, XFC OpenBox i3. Then I installed Arch Linux D, tried out to install it with scripts. That's, that's Arch Linux D. And then later on, let's go the Arch way. So that's the idea of Arch Linux. In the meantime, he's all done. I can keep talking, but he's done. And let's boot. So when you reboot, you of course, the ISO is still in there. So pull out your USB, and then it's going to boot into this screen. And we have now a, a grub theme, which is this one. And it boots automatically into, well, a barren ISO. This is just a empty ISO in the sense that you need to figure out what desktop to install. And that's why all these tutorials are over here. So for instance, let's take something fun. BSP, you want to have a BSP, you're taking a look at it and say, okay, BSP, let's install it. Okay, click, let's install the video. How to install it, mirror, sudo pacman minus s, git clone everything. And off we go and then everything is installed and then you can start learning about um, the desktop so the articles basically before you do anything you say let's see i have if i have the fastest mirror because you may live in america you may, may live in asia and there are other servers in your neighborhood that are fast right you need to have the fastest arch linux servers these are not the article servers arch linux servers then you can type updates. Let's see if anything comes in. Nothing. And then when, when you type update, that's an alias. You can have a look at all the code there. But um, you, if you type update, you just are updating the Arco Linux and the Arch Linux stuff. Anything that's installed that comes from the AUR, Arch user repository, that's then afterwards upgraded with PKS YOA. So that's my uh, way to, to update everything. First an update and then PK as a Y away. Right, the rest is now um, go and have an idea what desktop you want to install, what you like, and then you're following the tutorials. All right, have fun.